A few weeks back, one of my patrons asked me the following question. In the Malachor arc of Star Wars Rebels, we see Maul leading Ezra through the Sith Temple. To get through, both of them have to use the Force to work through things, with Maul repeating two, no more, no less, obviously in reference to the Rule of Two. Why would the Temple function in accordance with the Rule of Two? Darth Bane created it roughly 1,000 years before the movies, but this Temple and battle happened thousands of years before that. The Rule of Two wasn't a thing yet when the Temple was built, so why are Two needed to work it? I started writing out an answer to this, and it just got really long, so I figured why not make this a video of its own. So yeah, I will answer that question and use it as kind of a jumping off point to talk about the nature of the Sith as well. So Kevin, you are right that the Rule of Two was made about a thousand years before the events of the films, and the stuff on Malachor, the temple being built, the battle there, all that happened well before. Uh, but let's talk about the Rule of Two first. Of course, it's one master and one apprentice, uh, where the master teaches everything they can to the apprentice until they feel confident enough that they can kill their master and take their place and take on a new apprentice, and in that way, the Sith can theoretically only grow stronger. It's survival of the fittest in its most basic form. The Sith, when it comes down to it, are always meant to betray and kill one another for personal gain, even if there are only two of them. But the rule of two comes so naturally to them because they were always betraying and killing one another. The dark side of the Force is all about selfishness, personal gain, what's in this for me? The Sith don't care about the well-being of others, even their allies. They care about themselves first and foremost, and I would say the most revolutionary thing about the Rule of Two is that Darth Bane cared more about the Sith Order as a whole than he did his own personal ambitions. He understood that the Sith weren't going to rule the galaxy in his lifetime, so he was willing to set up future generations for success. Although in Legends, at the end of his life, even he was worried he made the wrong decision, and he sought to extend his life. So we've got a little history about the Rule of Two, and that's great, but you want to know why the Temple, which was built well before the Rule of Two, seemed to operate under those rules. My interpretation is that the Temple wasn't built so much to honor the Rule of Two as it was built to be a challenge to any Sith that dared enter. If you want to make sure someone is worthy of the holocron or the super weapon hidden inside, it's a classic trope to judge their worth through a series of challenges. And making two Sith work together when immense knowledge or power is at stake is the greatest challenge they could ever face. Now, to be fair, in the episode, Maul says, Two, no more, no less, that is the way of the Sith. But I think he could be referring to their present way of thinking. But let's look at these challenges Ezra and Maul have to go through. Lifting stones out of the way as a team. Then one person has to make a jump with the help of the other. And finally, that same person has to jump back and trust the other to catch them. Three challenges where betrayal would be so easy, leaving the power or knowledge in the hands of just one Sith instead of two. Darth Bane originally created the Rule of Two because he recognized that infighting and betrayal within Sith ranks led to their downfall. I think whoever built the Temple on Malachor probably recognized that as well, and they wanted whoever came across the Holocron to be willing to go against their nature in order to acquire it. So just because Darth Maul references the Rule of Two as the Sith's present-day way of thinking, I don't think that necessarily means that the original builders of the temple had to follow that exact same philosophy. But those are just my thoughts and interpretations on all this. I don't think there's necessarily one right or wrong answer, and there's plenty of room for discussion, so I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.